Well, the Heart Fund was established really by um, a social worker and a patient. The patient went through um, cardiac emergency and afterwards came to the social worker and said, this was a real struggle for me and I know other people are gonna go through this and I wanna give some money uh, as a way to help those patients uh, who are gonna come after me. Now it helps hundreds of patients and is available for anyone with a heart condition of any kind who's going through a rough patch and needs a helping hand. It's a broad fund, so it can help in, in a wide variety of ways. When you're the primary provider and all of a sudden you've kind of been knocked out of the game for a little bit, what's your family gonna do? particularly for those first few months while the whole family is reimagining what they can do and what their life's going to be. The Heart Fund is there to help with that transition period. Their medications and their food are the most primary things. So we utilize the foundation to um, help pay for their prescriptions because that is one of the biggest reasons for patients to be readmitted back in the hospital is because of non-compliance with medications. And when they don't have any income, you know, food's gonna take precedence over medications. Many times they're dealing with their car being impounded. We have utilized the foundation to help us to pay a month's car payment. The primary use that we use is for the gas cards because we're gonna do everything we can to help that patient to get here. Statistics show that patients who attend cardiac rehab and the longer that they can attend with us, for up to 36 weeks, they have much better health outcomes. They're more compliant with their medicines. They're more compliant with seeing their physicians afterwards because we track all of this. He wouldn't be able to come to cardiac rehab, you know, because every penny in my gas tank is accounted for. Yes, we do focus on exercise, but the psychological benefits far outweigh the physical benefits, and we see that over and over and over again. Well, it gets me out of the house for one. It's uh, given him an outlet. He's got other people to talk to besides me, and I think that's important. He's met other people with similar stories. They're going through similar things, and I think it's it's helped him. You, you come around people that's in the same boat that you're in, you know, but after I'd come for a while, you know, I could tell that it was helping me get stronger, you know, and it was kind of fun. <laughs> The Upper Cumberland's a great community. We take care of each other, and this is one way that we can do that. And I thank the people all the time. I prayed for the people that gave you and helped me to regain my strength. They just are very thankful, and they always come by my office and tell me how much they appreciate that, and they thank me for that. And then they proceed to tell me how wonderful my staff is. <laughs> you guys are great in, in cardiac rehab. His nurses, everybody are just awesome. Friendly and make they make you feel like they care that you get better even if we can't change things on a grand scale we can help change our little corner of the world to make it better so it doesn't take a lot to make a big difference uh, so i hope folks will give thank you from the bottom of my heart and his mm -hmm. thank you we get blessed when we give uh, when it comes to funds like the heart fund it's really simple your gift helps us heal